This is an HP G62 notebook. We're currently experiencing problems with the flickering display. The uh, display driver seems to be working fine because it's hooked up to a uh, remote monitor and the monitor is uh, displaying the screen perfectly. So the problem is within the notebook itself. It's acting like there is a there could be a loose connection or a broken wire within the the hinge part of the uh, laptop. By moving the lid, it changes the display. When ordering parts, always refer to the model number of the laptop which will be behind the battery. Just buy yourself a jeweler set with a couple of Phillips screwdrivers in it, a couple of flathead screwdrivers and a pair of tweezers. They come as a kit, they don't cost that much, they're under 20 bucks. To remove the screen on either side there's a little plug here you've got to remove and under there there's a screw. There's one beside the hinge, hinge on the right hand side as well. To get the bezel off completely, just work your way around the bottom. It's kind of stuck on there with some adhesive. So be careful and just pry it slowly and loosen it up all the way around. And then the bezel just lifts out. Remove the monitor fasteners. There are two on each side, two on the top, and four on each hinge. Place a uh, rag down on the uh, keyboard so when you fold down the monitor you don't scratch the screen. Flip the computer over and remove the screws from the bottom. Take note as there are different lengths of screws. Look for a keyboard symbol next to fastener holes. Insert a small screwdriver through the specified holes to remove the keyboard. We got the laptop apart and I'm going to replace this cable. It's for the monitor. Plugs in the motherboard here rooted through the hinge and it's the silver one that goes up along the bottom here. It's this one here. So I'm going to order it from HP where the part number is on the side here for the monitor cable. Now that you got the computer apart this far, it's worth the extra effort just to pop the motherboard out. Uh, check around the fan area for accumulation of dust. Uh, if dust accumulates within the heat sink itself, it could lead to overheating of the CPU. And if the CPU overheats, of course, it uh, could cause the computer to shut down unexpectedly. Okay, once you've got the fan off the board, uh, remove, there's probably four screws. Just pop the four screws out from around the case on the fan, the heat sink assembly, and just take the fan away. And clean all the dust out of the heat sink. You see it's all plugged up on the little fins there, so there's absolutely no air getting through that heat sink at all. It's only just a matter of time before this computer was going to start to uh, do all kinds of weird stuff. So take that and remove all this. Use a little paintbrush or a can of compressed air to remove the remainder of the debris in the cooling fins there. As you can see now the heat sink is completely cleaned out. All the fins are free of 
dust and debris. When it comes time to uh, reassemble the uh, heat sink assembly back onto the CPU, make sure you clear, clean all the old thermal paste off the heat sink as well as the CPU. Make sure that there are, the contacts are completely clean before you uh, install some new thermal paste and reinstall the heat sink. Okay, we got the new monitor cable for the HP G62 and we've got the new one installed. The screen is not flickering anymore and there doesn't seem to be any problem with the hinging on 